Hi, Chris. So true. I mean, we are in for a cloudy day. Uh, that's what we have right now. It's how most of the day is going to look kind of like this, a little bit gray with cloudy skies. We do have a chance for some scattered showers in and around New York City today, but the bulk of the rain doesn't move in until this evening. So right now, mostly cloudy, 74 degrees with a light wind out of the east northeast. 69 degrees for Staten Island right now, 71 for the Bronx, 72 for JFK, 74 for Sheepshead Bay and for Jackson Heights. Big picture look shows that temps range from the mid 60s to the mid 70s across the area right now. Do you want to talk pollen? Tree pollen is low today, but grass is high. Ragweed and weeds are both very high and mold is moderate. So yeah, it's a very colorful pollen report this morning, but a lot of things to trip you up as an allergy sufferer. So just be mindful of that. As we take a look at your satellite and radar, you can see the rain has really been primarily uh, north of New York City. So Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess, a lot of activity there, a little bit for uh, Orange and Putnam counties. Northern Westchester had a cell move through, but a lot of that has been Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess, because you're closer to the bulk of the moisture right now, which is up around Albany and Binghamton. Here's a big picture look um, at that rain, but the rain will fill in. So we're going to have a red alert primarily for tomorrow, but it really starts later tonight. The reason is because the rain fills in. Now for a lot of us, that's a right around midnight or just after midnight, but still it will be uh, heavy at times could see some flooding possible and we expect a really wet Tuesday morning commute. So this time tomorrow uh, that rain is going to slow you down. You can plan to give yourself extra time right now. As we turn on your future cast, you can see we go through the noon hours again, mostly cloudy for the rest of us, which is some scattered showers. Again, the bulk of the rain stays to the north. Then we head to about five o'clock. Now we start to see a little bit more shower activity in and around New York City that starts to fill in this evening by 10 o'clock tonight. Widespread rain with pockets of moderate and heavy heavy downpours tonight through tomorrow morning uh, and that kind of continues through about lunchtime one o'clock in the afternoon then things start to taper off a bit if the timing of this remains the same it starts to taper off but we could see some light shower activity lingering through Tuesday night even into Wednesday morning so kind of a, a long run here where we have a chance for rain this particular model is really aggressive saying you could know you know we could see some areas seeing four four and a half inches of rain but the European is not nearly as aggressive saying Hmm. It's more like an inch to maybe two and a half inches in places where uh, we see some of those heavier cells. So just know 82 degrees expected on this Labor Day with just a few scattered showers across the area. The best chance still being north and west of the city. And then your first alert seven day forecast shows that tomorrow will be a red alert day, but it really starts right around midnight. But it continues throughout the day on Tuesday because of that heavy rain. Cindy? Elise, thank you.